Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how to create action log tracker in Excel. This tracker is absolutely free. If you are interested, you can download from the link provided in the description below. So before we create the action log, let's understand what are the details we have. So to start with, we have project name, project number and the project name number name, sorry, manager. Then again, these are all free text, which you can type it. And then you have action ID. Then you have the description here. You is a free text. Again, you can write whatever you want to. And then you have reported on when the uh, when this issue or action was reported and then you have reported by who has reported this and then you have assigned to whom it was assigned then you have priority in this priority column you have you have a drop down as medium high low let's understand how to create this drop down and then you have status again in this drop down you have in progress yet to start completed hold cancelled and then you have target date by when this action should be completed you have date resolved when this action has been completed also then you have column called status it will understand you will understand whether the action has been taken on time in case if it is a delay it will highlight in red color if it is uh, on time it will highlight in green color this we build based on the conditional formatting and then we also have column called resolution again it's a free text once the action is taken so you can write the resolution so now you understand this content of this action tracker let's uh, see how to create this action tracker so let me go to sheet 4 where i already copy pasted the headings the first and foremost thing what i do is i select the entire sheet by selecting by clicking on this so this will ensure the entire sheet is selected then I go to view here you have the grid lines let me unselect this so now let me select the entire uh, column uh, where we have the data and double tick uh, double click on this so that the width will be adjusted automatically and now and for me the description and resolution where I need to update that status uh, or the text uh, so here I need to have uh, the more column width so I select both I just drag it so that it will also cover the entire sheet yeah it is done let me first uh, let me select this project name I select this uh, let me have until here for that let me first project name uh, here you have a uh, merge and center let me click on this again same for the next one same for the next one now move it back on the left side and here I want to select another three uh, rows or four or five columns uh, make it center similarly until J similarly until J and now let me select this uh, go to this so this will this will give you the borders now what I do is I select this go to this uh, option to fill color so I select this uh, purple and then uh, uh, font color I select this to have the white again same thing I will do I'll select the complete column uh, column heading by using control shift right arrow it will select the complete columns uh, again I select this fill color purple and then uh, white for font color also what I do is I will ensure this is on the center now what I will also want to do is uh, if I go little down page down I see the headings are missing so first thing what I do is I select until uh, the complete row number 8 go to view and you have an option called freeze panes so let's do the freeze pane so this will allow me even though if I go down my headings will remain same okay now this is done so let's select the entire uh, column heading uh, and press uh, from keyboard shift down arrow I will go until row number uh, 100 and here I go to home 
then in this sheet in this uh, option I go down first thing I want is the line style uh, by default it will be always uh, none so I want to select this let me select this press escape and then again go back here uh, then I want to have this uh, red color let me select this escape here again drop down I go and select all boulders now you can see you get a red dots now again coming back on the top so we have the details let me copy paste the entire uh, no uh, then we have the action ID everything so before that I also want the black border what we had so select this entire heading again uh, shift page down now in this drop down if I select this the black border let me do it now you see the red border is selected the reason is we have changed the line color so to make it black again we need to go here in this the line color let's make it again black escape and now if I press you see you get the line uh, black border and let me select heading make it black border now we have this action ID description reported on uh, all those things then uh, we also have priority where we had that drop down so what I do is go to sheet 5 if you notice uh, my action tracker the name uh, column sorry the sheet name is action log and we have another sheet called do not delete so I always write it the details or the uh, data validation details here so that this will come as an input for all this uh, drop down so hence we should not delete this sheet otherwise if you delete you will not get anything like in this drop down you will not get an option so this sheet I always make it as do not delete similarly you can also make it as sheet file as do not delete so that uh, anyone by mistake also they will think before they delete this sheet so now just copy this entire sheet uh, entire data and paste it here Inst instead you can type it just that I have information I just copy paste it go to sheet 4 here on priority uh, I will use the data validation for that I go to uh, data and you have option here data validation in this drop down data validation uh, here instead of any value I need to select list and uh, here is where I need to give the source data so let's select this and go to sheet 5 I select high medium low all three and then click OK now you see you have the drop down high medium so to extend this I just copy this and uh, go to until the last row enter you get this drop down for all the uh, cells now similarly for the status let's go here sheet 5 sorry uh, let's go to data validation again here data validation again here list go to sheet 5 select this uh, we have in progress yet to start completed hold and cancelled I would like to add in case if it's something else is required uh, so in future if you want to add now just I will add one more row so that we can add directly when something has to be added here in the future and same will be reflected in the sheet 4 so I'll give once additional cell then click OK if you come to status you can see it is reflected so again copy this entire the entire that cell and come until down press enter you have this now target date uh, to uh, target date again let me copy this and paste it entire information okay here uh, target date and uh, data resolution again it's in uh, uh, text or uh, values which we need to update uh, manually and then next column we have the state here uh, I use simple if function if 
the data resolution is greater than the target date comma then it should be delay because the target date was 8 June but it was resolved on 10th June two days delay so it should be the result should be delay if not it should be on time let's close this press enter and let me copy paste it here you see for here it is delay because there is a two day delay here we still have time it's showing as on time and third one again it was targeted was 10th June and we completed on 9th June again showing on time now so now we have the status let's use the simple conditional formatting let me select this go to home conditional formatting new rule and I use this function called format only cell that contains and then cell value here I use uh, equals to the f here I have to type it as delay in case if it is a delay go to format make it as red click OK OK now you see wherever we have delay it's showing red and uh, similarly uh, again I go to conditional formatting new rule format only cell that contain cell value equals to on time format then it will be green click OK OK here it is green so now again you just need to exchange this uh, until the last row to get the uh, conditional formatting applied and then it is a free text here so this is all about the action log i hope this video is useful if you like this video please click on like button thank you